All right, so by the title of this video, you all probably know what's going on here. Where have you been? Where are the hair videos? What has been going on with life? Let's get into this update really quick. So I have been on a break, <laughs> a self-imposed break, because we are having a baby. So with that being said, let me let y'all know how this is going, okay? I have a little notepad right here because I get a little scatterbrained. Sometimes I tend to ramble, ramble. so y'all will see me looking down um, every once in a while. So what are we? Currently today, as of today, we are 23 weeks exactly. So that means that first trimester, boom, we did that. Second trimester, you know. All right, so with that being said, being pregnant has been kicking my butt, y'all. Like, no lie. So I have an eight-year-old. That means eight years ago, I did this, <laughs> starting over this time. Um, I don't remember it being this rough. My mom and everybody probably <laughs> remembers me being the same way, they say I'm dramatic, whatever. But so finding out I was pregnant, my cycle comes like clockwork. It's three days long. It comes at the last day of every month, give or take a day or so, like clockwork. So it didn't come as we can see. And I waited probably like, I think like two days. Actually, I probably waited one day. Yeah, I waited like one day <laughs> to take this pregnancy test. Um, I was just feeling off. Like I didn't feel sick, but I felt off. Like, let me just go ahead and take this test and see. And my boobs, kid you not, were so sore, like sore to the touch, like I could not even hug my boyfriend. Like he could barely touch me because they were so sore. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So I wake up, I think it's like five, six o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, all right, let's take the pregnancy test. Yes, I had a pregnancy test on standby, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. So I take the test, the lines pop up and I'm like, well, really <laughs> so i'm like all right so i get back in the bed i lay down mind you i don't wake my boyfriend up anything whatever um so probably like after a few minutes i sit up and i'm just thinking about it thinking about it and so i look over at him and i'm like hey babe and he's like what's up and i'm like yeah we're having a baby and he's like all right cool and he goes back to sleep so i'm like all right cool <laughs> <laughs> so I call my mom and I'm like, hey, we're having a baby. And she's like, you're lying. And I'm like, no, we're having a baby. And she's like, all right, cool. So everybody's like, all right, cool. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I kid you not from the I'm having a baby for those first few weeks. I am nauseous. I am moody. I have probably the worst fatigue that I have ever had in my life. Mind you, I love naps. I am the nap queen, okay? I um, I take naps. That's like my thing. Like, we ain't doing nothing, I'm taking a nap. But this fatigue was something I had never experienced before in my life, y'all. Like, I kid you not. I Every time I sit down, I'm going to sleep. Anytime I do something, I'm going to sleep. I sit on the couch, I'm asleep. Like, I have zero energy for anything. So when I was pregnant with my son, I was put on bed rest at like, I wanna say like four or five months um, for some complications. And this time I was like, as long as everything's great, I'm going to work my whole pregnancy, you know, up until they say I can't go anymore, you know, whatever. The fatigue 
would not let me be great. Like I'm 23 weeks and I'm just now getting some energy to be able to do something. Like, yeah, no. Everything was all right. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep. Like at work, I worked in a doctor's office, and I'm like, okay, I can do this. It's cool. No, was not cool. Um, I stopped working a little bit before Christmas because I did not have the energy. Like I came home, I told my boyfriend, I'm like, listen, I'm tired. I don't have it in me anymore. And he's like, all right, it's cool, you know, just stay home. And I'm like, all right, cool. And so I tell my boss and she's like, okay, all right, cool. Like we kind of figured, you know, you was getting tired, whatever. So I'm home and I have like this grand at home plan. Okay. <laughs> my at home plan just started like in the new year, Monday to be exact. Somewhere, somehow, I got this burst of energy and like I overhauled my house, started organizing things, everything, you know, boom, the whole shebang. But that fatigue, honey, nothing to play with. Like, <laughs> nothing to play with. Pregnancy fatigue? Y'all have heard my fatigue rant. It, listen, nothing to play with, okay? So, like I told y'all, my other symptom, boobs, sore boobs. Like when I tell y'all they were so sore to the touch, like it hurt to put a bra on. Like I'm putting my bra on and I'm like, ah, oh, okay. My boyfriend's like, I roll over in the bed and I'm like, oh yeah, no. He's like, what's wrong? I'm like, my boobs, they hurt. And he's like, are, are you serious? He goes to give me hugs, painful. Like, I'm like, okay. So the only thing I could do to alleviate that was buying nursing bras. Like they, they, there's something in there. There's a comfort that's like, it didn't hurt when I put them on. So you know, boom, nursing bras, lifesaver, best friend. That, I kind of just had to let it dwindle out on its own. Same way with the fatigue. Like, it just had to do what it did on its own. Like, all right, whatever. Um, And I'll link the nursing bras that I like. I have two brands that I like. I'll link them down below. Um, Yeah, so <laughs> those two symptoms right there. In the very beginning, let me know before I took the pregnancy test. You're pregnant, sis. You're pregnant. Um, let's see. Oh, mood swings. Okay, mood swings. Like when I tell y'all, I'm I'm generally a moody person. I'm a cancer. I'm pretty moody. Um, but these mood swings. <laughs> I'm ashamed, okay? I'm ashamed of the amount of attitude that I was giving out. Like before, before I decided that I wasn't gonna work anymore, I realized that like I I love my job, I love being with my patients, you know, it's really cool, they're amazing. But the littlest things were making me snap on everyone. And I'm like, yeah, this isn't cool. Like I'm snapping on my patients, I'm snapping on my boss, I'm snapping on my doctor. I'm snapping on my man. I'm snapping on my kid. I'm like, okay. And then I'm getting all sad. And then, boom, it's like nothing ever happened. Cool. But them mood swings, honey, too quick. Too, 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 too quick. Okay. Um, they calmed down and gotten better, especially since I've been home. Like, I haven't had to deal with much of anything. I guess people interaction. So, that's a plus. I don't know if they've calmed down because they've just calmed down or because I don't have any outside exposure. <laughs> but whatever it is, I am cool with it. So, nausea. I was pretty nauseous. 
I only threw up a couple of times, but the nausea was like, that was something new for me. Like I don't get nauseous. I don't throw up. Like that's not like a thing that I do. So being nauseous was like, when is this going to end? And every once in a while, I still get nauseous. Like certain smells make me nauseous, but I don't throw up and it goes away kind of fast. Like What's something? Is it Funyun? Fritos. I never liked Fritos before, but now when my boyfriend eats Fritos, I literally want to like move away from him, like move out of the house and move away from him. Like that's how much Fritos make me nauseous. And it's, it's a few other things like that, but that was like what came to my mind just now. Um, let's see. I think that's all I got for symptoms, y'all. I'm pretty sure that's all I got for symptoms. So yeah. off of symptoms on to apps that I use. So the first app that I use, and I'll insert something, link something, you know, whatever. Um, is the what to expect app. It was the first app that I downloaded. Um, it's actually a really convenient little app. It tells you, well, I like the fruit option. So it gives you different options um, that you can see how big your baby is compared to other items. So I use the fruit and it'll tell you like, let's see. I am 23 weeks today, and today my baby is the size of a grapefruit. Um, and then it gives you different like little stats about what's going on with your baby this week, like how big they are, um, how many weeks they are, how many months that makes you. Um, it gives you different information about yourself, and then it gives you like the highlights of like the big things that your baby is doing for the week. So let's see, like my highlights this week. is that my baby's kicks are really powerful. Um, they are. She's been on a roll all day. Um, let's see. What the placenta's doing and what her skin is currently looking like. Um, and then it also tells you like the symptoms that you could be having. Different information that you should read up on. Um, it's just got a whole bunch of good information. Different tests that you'll probably be getting done coming up um, at your doctor's appointments and things like that. So that's one app that I use. It's probably my favorite one. And then the second app that I use is Baby Center. And really, I just have multiple apps because they kind of differ a little bit. Like they all generally tell you, um, they all generally tell you, you know, like the same thing, like this is your baby's development. This is what should be going on this week. This is what's going on with you. Um, this is how big your baby is. And then they all have like their own little thing. Um, so like the what to expect app, that's just my go-to app. The baby center app, um, it has a lot of ads in it that I like. Like, uh, let's see. It's where I found my pregnancy bras at. Um, the stroller and car seat and stuff like that. It's different articles to help you like pick different things that you'll probably need and want for your baby. Um, and then the last app that I used, what is it called? Uh, I have to insert the name because I think it's called like Pregnancy Plus or something like that. Or maybe that's just the, that's just the app name. I don't think it's actually called Pregnancy Plus. I'll insert it, insert a picture of it and link it down below. But um, it lets you pick like kind of like a general idea of what your baby would look like. So the rest of the apps, they kind of just give you like a generic fetus, a generic baby. This one kind of lets you pick if it's going to be a boy or a girl, um, skin tone, the kind of like what your baby will look like. So I really like that option. Um, and it gives you a lot of informational reads. You can um, upload your doctor's appointments if you have questions for your doctor. Um, 
upload your vitals from your doctor's appointments that you've been to. It's a really good app that I really like to use. Um, so yeah, so those are my apps that I use. And let's see, is there one more? I should not have this many baby apps, but I do. Um, nope, that's it. So off of the apps, on all right y'all so on to my must-haves so um let's see first and foremost nursing bras which i've already told you guys about and i said that i was going to link them below but they are literally a must-have for me because i'm telling you like they feel so much better than your regular bras um and because they're a nursing bra and i plan on breastfeeding it's just the best option like it's a bra you unhook it. I'm not going to show y'all, but you unhook it. Boom. Boobs come out for the baby. And you don't even take your, have to take your bra off. It's like, you know, a win-win. Um, then, let's see. My first trimester, I needed the nursing bras. I needed my water bottle. Handy dandy. Um, and I have another water bottle. I actually have a few, but this one, sorry. I'm thirsty <laughs> um that one I really like it's cute something about having a cute water bottle makes me want to drink out of it even more so there's that part um on top of that what else did I need first trimester first trimester my boyfriend bought me my pregnancy pillow let's see it's actually in the bed I wonder if you guys can see it right here I don't want to take it out because it's just so big, but I will insert a picture. Um, yeah, so my boyfriend bought me the pregnancy pillow. It is huge and it's made us realize that we need to up our bed to a king size bed. But I have scoliosis already. So like my back was killing me off rip. And he was like, all right, well, we'll just get the pillow. Got the pillow. It's definitely improved my sleep, my comfort, everything. It's been amazing. Um, on top of having that pillow, I have a second one. Both of them are made by PharmaDoc. Um, my mom got me the second one. I want to say like around Thanksgiving. They're two different shapes and I use them both. I don't have a preference for one over the other. Um, it's really just you can take the covers off of them. So I took when I take the cover off one and wash it, then I change it out for the other one. But they're both really convenient. Um, I'll do a comparison video for the two of them um, just so I can go into a little bit more depth about the features or whatever. But pregnancy pillows, yes, need. Um, so that's pretty much all I needed for first trimester. Second trimester is where I needed more things. Um, first of all, my belly butter. I got a few stretch marks with my son. Um, and that's just because stretch marks are, they're really genetic. Like you can do everything you're supposed to do, rub it on your stomach, whatever, whatever. Um, but I don't want any more. And I, I think I only got them like on my hips and right on my belly button. But the belly butter that I use is the Burt Speeds Mama Bee Belly Butter with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. Um, I love this stuff. It doesn't have a scent and it feels really nice going on my belly. I use it probably about twice a day. You can use belly butter as many times as you want to. It's just like lotion. But it definitely, it's like a nice little massage on your belly. It feels good. Um, and it definitely helps. Like sometimes I get like, itchy feeling on my stomach so it definitely helps to relieve that um on top of the belly butter i had to get a humidifier um i'll show it to you guys it's really cute this is my humidifier it is an elephant um i figured i might as well get something cute because i'm just gonna put it over in the baby's room but my pregnancy congestion is nothing to play with and of course you guys know that we're in the middle of a pandemic 
So every time I get congested, they're like, oh, go get a COVID test. COVID test comes back negative. So they're like, okay, well, my OB told me I can use Sudafed, um, antihistamines, and a humidifier and some Vicks. And I religiously use those things for my congestion because it's so uncomfortable. Like I don't have allergies. I don't have issues like that. So not being able to breathe out of my nose. Yeah. No, no bueno. Um, I also have a belly band and I'll link it below and insert the picture. Um, it gives me the most support ever. Like I'm little enough and my belly isn't that big. So I shouldn't be waddling around, but I kid you not like that's me waddling around. <laughs> Um, my back gets so sore. Like I feel like I'm just leaning forward sometimes. But when I put that band on, especially when I have things to do, like stuff around the house or just riding in the car, anything like that, it gives me great support. So I definitely recommend getting a belly band. It is a lifesaver. Um, what is my next must have? Maternity underwear. I'm going to insert the ones that I have. I love my maternity underwear. So they're just like regular underwear. The only difference is right at the front, the band is a little bit lower. So it's not like, I guess, impending on your belly space. And they're so comfortable. Like if you don't do nothing else, get you some maternity underwear. They're so comfortable. Speaking of on your belly, Maternity leggings. I love leggings. I am a legging wearer, okay? And my regular leggings, when I tell you right right here, like right on the waistband, they're so tight and uncomfortable to wear. Like, I was getting so sad. Like, I'm not going to be able to wear leggings no more. What is life? Like, they're the easiest things to wear. Don't you fret, maternity leggings. So I got mine from Motherhood Maternity and they're really comfortable. And I have an order coming in from Boohoo, their maternity line. And I'm probably gonna do like a little try on haul or something. Um, so you guys can see what I got maternity wise and see how comfortable their stuff is. I've heard mixed things about them, so we're gonna see. But maternity leggings, life. Um, also, maternity t-shirts. Like you can get like regular teeth. Like right now I have on a regular shirt and they're fine. But when I'm in it all day, this is literally what happens. And then I got on a baby tee. The maternity shirts, they have like this little, uh, what is it called? Roosh, ruching, expandix. I don't know what it's called. I can't think right now. Um, on the sides so like the shirt is just your regular size shirt and then it has like that little stretchy material so it gives you the stretch but it keeps the shirt down which plus plus out here okay it's amazing um what else i'm gonna show y'all what else this <laughs> i should have mentioned in trimester one um but trimester one trimester two whatever get y'all some crocs Get y'all some Crocs, okay? Like, being able to slip your foot in here. And you can get them in whatever color you want. You can design them with the little giblets. Honey, get you some Crocs, okay? You will not regret it. Regret it. They're the most comfortable shoe that I own. I will put shoes on my feet and take them off immediately to go find my Crocs, okay? Get you some Crocs. That's that. Um, <laughs> what else did I need? Oh, most important thing. That's that pregnancy brain, y'all. Prenatal vitamins. Prenatal vitamins. Do not not get y'all some prenatal vitamins, okay? Um, I use the Pixie Prenate. It's a prescription that I get from my OB, but when I was just doing over-the-counter, um, I use the Target brand, and I'll link it below. The Target brand prenatal vitamins, they taste really good. Like, 
really good. I tried to use the Smarty Pants, but they literally, first of all, you have to take too many of them, in my opinion. You have to take four. They're gummies. But you have to take four of them. And they had like this weird aftertaste that made me sick. Like I wanted to like them, couldn't like them. And then the issue with the Target ones is they were never in stock. Like I'd be able to get them and then couldn't get them. Um, the Pixie Prenate, since it's a prescription. Sorry, y'all. Since it's a prescription, it's normally always in stock. So works out for me it's a pill but it doesn't have any type of aftertaste it's not huge it's like this big I'll insert a little picture of one um but yeah love those things they're 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 great <laughs> but probably should have put that in the beginning whatever and let's see my pregnancy seat belt I haven't heard anybody talk about this in a you know, must-haves for your pregnancy video. But my pregnancy seatbelt is literally a lifesaver. Like, you know how you're riding in the car? If you're pregnant, you know. You're riding in the car and the seatbelt is like digging into the underside of your belly. I'll link the one that I have and then I'll link the one that um, I just ordered. So what happens is it has a little like hook that goes between your legs and you put your seatbelt on and the part that goes on your belly, you put it in the hook so it kind of is on your legs instead of on your belly. And it's safe. It's It's been tested, all that good stuff. But it is so comfortable on my stomach. Like riding in the car, I'm trying to ride and like hold my hand so I can pull the, <laughs> the seatbelt from off my stomach because it's just so uncomfortable. Like, yeah, no. Um... So the pregnancy seatbelt, definitely a must have for me. And let's see, I think that's it for my must haves, y'all. I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure um, something will change by the time I get to, you know, the end of pregnancy or nearing the end. But as of right now, those are the things that I need and cannot live without. All right, y'all, so that was it for my where have you been first and second trimester recap, update, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was a little rambly, kind of talky, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.